Welcome to exercise 8.3 and we're actually going to go ahead and combine exercise 8.4 with this as well since they're both very, very short um, activities. During exercise 8.3 we're going to go through creating an Active Directory integrated zone and during that exercise we're going to create an Active Directory integrated zone. The mindset is that you decide that you want to improve the DNS system for your company and you are thinking of switching to an Active Directory integrated zone. Active Directory integrated zones are fault tolerant. They offer better security and they have more efficient replication. With these features, you don't have to worry about primary and secondary zones because each DNS server acts as a master. The estimated completion time for this activity is five minutes. Immediately following that, we're going to get into configuring zone delegation. And I'll go over that when we get to that point. So let's get started and we're going to go right to the RWDC. And you can see we still have our DNS up, the DNS manager up from the previous exercise. We want to right click the forward lookup zone, actually left click, right click. And we're going to again choose a new zone. And then next. With the primary zone and store the zone and active directory options already selected, we're going to go ahead and click on next again. <coughs> The Active Directory Zone Replication Scope, we're going to go ahead and click on Next. And here we're going to call this F-A-B-R-I-K-A-M.com. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Next. And on the Dynamic Updates page, we want to allow only secure updates. So that's already selected. We'll go ahead and click on Next. Brings us to our next question. What is needed to perform a secure dynamic update? And you need an Active Directory integrated zone. All right, with that, you're going to complete, you're going to, if you're following along the lab manuals at this point, you would take your next screenshot and then go ahead and click on Finish. That is the end of this exercise. We're going to leave everything open and jump right into exercise 8.4 where we're going to configure a zone delegation. In this exercise, you're going to de delegate a subdomain called support under fabricam.com on a different DNS server. The mindset is that subdomains allow you to break up larger domains into smaller, more manageable domains. Then by using delegation, you place the subdomain on another DNS server. The estimated time for this is, config is about five minutes. All right, before we get started, brings us right next to right up to question four. You discovered that one of your servers is heavily utilized by many by many requests from the support domain. What can you do to break up the workload of the server? The answer is you can configure zone delegation. All right, so we're going to go back to the RWDC, and we are still in the DNS manager. And under the forward lookup zone, so I'm going to expand forward lookup zone. And here's the new zone we just created. We want to left click, right click, and select new delegation. We'll go ahead and click on next. Here we're going to type in support. And then next. Here we're going to type in and click on add and we want to type in server 01 and then click on resolve We're going to ignore the red circle with the white X because everything still needs to be created. And we're going to click on OK to close the new name server record. And then here we're going to click on Next and then click on Finish. 
Now we're going to flip over to server 1. And you'll see that we're already in the DNS manager. <coughs> and we want to go on to the forward lookup zone. So I'm going to left click, right click, and choose new zone. And then next, here we're going to select, the primary zone is already selected, so we'll select next. And under the zone name, we're going to type in support.fabrikam.com and then click on next. Click on next again and next again. If you're following along the lab manual, this is where you would take your next screenshot and then click on finish. This is the ex this is the end of this exercise and the end of this video. The next video we will start in creating a stub zone.